boomer alert boomer alert it's time to be nostalgic on a video called worthy early 2000s the golden era for anime i cannot wait for a bunch of 30 year olds to talk about nostalgic feelings about the 2000s and say that's the best anime era ever maybe it is i don't know let's check it out 2001 to 2005 yeah oh my lord oh yeah this is now this now this era <laughs> this is the bang shaman king oh that's a big title right Shaman King is a huge title. Boogie Pop Phantom, I don't really know. This person looks like Dark Magician from Yu-Gi-Oh. Bleach, absolutely. One of the big three OGs. Elfin Lead, I've heard many crazy things about this show. Hamtaro is a child classic. Helsing is also huge. Prince of Tennis is huge. Naruto, the other top three, right? The big three. Monster is heralded as one of the greatest psychological dramas ever, right? Samurai Shampoo is one of those animes like on that Cowboy Bebop tier, right? Full Metal Panic, I've heard about it. And Fully Cooly, five episodes of just insanity. And of course, Full Metal Alchemist. And yes, if you compare this roster of anime, if you compare this roster of anime, right? And we compare to what? The recent... <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with, you know, new season. This season's not bad. But it's like, the quality of anime, you cannot even fucking compare. Right? There is some gems, right? There's definitely some gems, you know, scattered here out. But like, this is an entire roster of classic legends that's just been cemented as greatest of all times in their own respective genres. Hang it here. <laughs> So you got, I think the last year was better. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last year better? I mean, yeah. maybe it's this selection, but... <laughs> I mean, even with this selection, I'm like, man, mm. how'd you come back from... Uh, I mean, obviously we had now. Wow. I, I thought that they'd be very biased towards the 2000s and say, like, no anime year ever in the modern, you know, 2020s is going to be even close, but nah, that's kind of based. Naruto in this yeah. era monster which obviously came out in this era but i don't think it's something that defines this era mm. um why'd you put elf and lead on there <laughs> i mean that did define this era it's, it, is it is iconic, iconic it yeah. is iconic it's hard for me to give opinions about those eras because like i was just a google gaga baby kid barely getting into anime and like all i watched was battle shonen i didn't even know seasonal anime was like a thing Right? So, like, it's really hard. Sonic. Maybe not for, like, the right reasons. Yeah. God. Um, Bo yeah. Boogie I Pop mean, was huge. Shaman King was I huge. I never watched Boogie Pop, Shaman King, or Fully Cooly. Oh, my God. Those are, like, three of my favorites really? on this list. Yeah. <laughs> Boogie Pop, I think, is one of the best light novels ever written. Hmm. What uh, is it about? Boogie Pop Phantom? Yeah. I thought <sighs> it was a funny name. Fuck. It's not good. Describe Boogie Pop Phantom. It's like a supernaturally supernatural mystery show. Where yeah. Okay. Normally if, don't like those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like kind of Pulp Fiction-y in the sense that it's the same story told from multiple angles happening at the same time. Right. Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a very cool artistic design, but I know for a fact my audience would not give a fuck about that shit. Uh, it inspired. Okay, so cool. Boogie Pop Phantom was the one that directly inspired Nisho Ishin to start writing. Okay. So the creator mm. of the Monogatari series. He he. Oh. Called Creator of the Monogatari series inspired by Boogie Pop. That's pretty huge, right? The author of Boogie Pop Phantom, a genius. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, and actually, a lot of light novels, especially during the mid-2000s, were directly <sighs> inspired from oh, the author cool. of Boogie Pop Phantom. That's cool. Because yeah. he basically defined the, the light novel genre. I mean, looking at this era, do you know, mm. do, this reminds me of, like, especially now looking back, you know when, like, a uh, new game console launches yeah. like the first two three years are always just game developers figuring out how to like make good games on that game console yeah <laughs> like that's, demo. <laughs> that, yeah yeah that's this is what i feel like for this era yeah. where this is the era where you know anime started moving over to like digital animation right, right. Yeah. and it's just like i would say rather than all hand drawn right that's what the comparison is we got the peak we got some of the peaks of like you know traditional hand drawn animation yeah. in the previous era and now we, we go into this era, and I'm just... And now we're in the era of CGI. <laughs> all CGI anime fair, coming soon. Near, I mean, all CGI isn't bad. Again, just because it's CGI doesn't mean it's bad. It's just the implementation of CGI that pisses me off in Failure Frame right now. Like, uh, yeah, it's, this was... This well, Sully, uh... This, no, but this era, I'm looking at this list, and this is still on the cusp of, like... Yeah, and if you're gonna give me, like, CGI, just all CGI anime, I'm down. 
Again, it's not that CGI is bad. People just hear CGI, they hear a buzzword, and they think it's bad immediately, right? That's not the case. It's just the usage of CGI and how jarring it is sometimes when you transition from 2D to CGI, and it's just ruining the fucking experience for me. Like 99.9% .9 2D still. Yeah. You know? No, 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 no. Like, like uh, not not 2D. It's uh, digital digital versus like oh, paper. Oh, I see, you know, I see, I see. Because uh, I think Cowboy Bebop was like one of the very first digital digitally animated shows. Yeah. And that looked better than 90% of everything I see here. Uh, What's maybe the 10%? I can't Samurai Champloo? Samurai, Samurai Champloo and Fuli Kuli. Pretty year. much. That, that long ago. It feels like it's a modern show. Was it? Wait, wasn't Samurai Champloo in the 90s? No. I don't know. No. No. Is it not? It's 2004. I'm pretty sure. Was it? I, but even then, to me, oh, fuck. <laughs> Samurai yeah. Champloo feels like a 2010 show. Yeah, exactly. It feels right. like way ahead of its time. I mean, time. yeah. yeah. It, it, it was. still looks incredible. Damn. Did Samurai Champloo start the whole... It does look pretty cool. I think that whenever people talk about Samurai Champloo, I immediately think of like Cowboy Bebop as well. As like those animes, people probably watched that shit growing up in English dub because it kind of makes sense in that Western setting, right? Samurai and hip hop kind of yes. like marriage. Yes. I mean, that's insane works. to think about. It it, works, it so. single handedly brought lo fi to the West. That's that's insane really? to think about. Well, New, ja New Job is. New Job is, right? New Job is. Was, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. sometimes you just. You, sometimes you just see this clash of like two things that Work. on paper shouldn't seem like it works like i don't know why eurobeat works so well with like street, street <laughs> in SLD, in SLD. Well, the then same you... thing with like cowboy bebop right yeah. like no one looked at this like sci-fi western show and was like let's put a really jazzy soundtrack on it yeah <laughs> it's like that doesn't sound like it works Basically, soundtracks, if done incorrectly, can just define an entire genre or a show. But it did. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Cool. Um, what a fucking, fucking genius, cool. man. Yeah. What and an absolute Hamtaro? genius. I never watched Hamtaro. I, I fucking loved Hamtaro. I love Hamtaro. I watched that shit when I was like a kid. Just, it, it, I don't know. It, I don't remember the plot. I just remember it just being all cute as fuck. I think I had like Hamtaro merch through like plushies, man. Hamtaro growing up. What, what, it, what, is it like a comedy? What is it? It's a kid's show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a kid's show about just these hamsters who go on an adventure. They're just chilling. Right. Yeah. They get still big in Japan. Maybe we should start off Hamtaro reactions, bro. No, I don't even remember the Hamtaro fly. I just remember just being cute little fucks just doing slice of life shit. Um, very cute. Wait, so this is the first year that Full Metal Alchemist, the first one came out. When did the mm. second one come out? The brother right, this isn't even Brotherhood yet, right? This is the original. And then Brotherhood did like a remake and did it even better because the original did not do a one-to-one -one adaptation of the manga. Didn't something happen near the end where they decided to do like an anime original thing? And then the Brotherhood came out and decided let's just do an actual one-to-one. -one. Brotherhood. 2007? Isn't that crazy to think that- FMA Brotherhood, 2009. One of these days, man. One of these days. It's actually only 13 years, 14, oh, sorry, 15 years old. I thought it'd be way older than that. One of these days, FMA Brotherhood. I feel like this series could do well potentially in our channel, but I don't know, man. They remade a show that quickly after. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, if that happened now, we'd be like, wow, Disney, really? Remaking that movie already? <laughs> but like, we, we like look back at that as like, wow, they, they really fucking did a W on this one. I guess yeah. 64 episodes, it would be a long haul. You realize that we're like beyond 64 episodes in Sword Art Online right now? The remake is good. People are like, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, this was the era where instead of just um, ending it where the source material was Yeah, you to, would just make shit up. You would just make your own, like, <laughs> you your just, own anime yeah. original show. Yeah. Or, or you would just end. Yeah. And never do it again. Yeah. Like, and so. I, I, I think on this list, from what I've heard, the original FMA had a decent ending. Did it? Uh, I haven't seen it, but I've heard random talking points about it growing up, and I don't even know it's factually correct. I just heard that people were mad due to the anime-only ending? For, you know, maybe not as good as Brotherhood, mm. but I heard it was a decent ending. Definitely a lot darker, if I remember correctly. I can't... Okay. I don't remember it at all. Is yeah, because it got yeah. into, like, World War Two and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was like, wow. Damn. There's a whole plot with the Nazis and shit in, in the movies, isn't there? I, I think that I might have 
seen like a portion of the movie on TV growing up. I, I can't remember though. Yeah. And then the, the, the Brotherhood didn't have any of that. <laughs> 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 well, maybe they did, but very different. Which one was was it closer to the manga? Because I never read the manga. Well, so the Brotherhood was following the manga. Yeah, right? oh, Brotherhood I followed see. the manga. Thank you, Emperor Niter, for the five gifted men. That's very generous of you. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, that's, that's the reason it got remake. Yeah. Uh, because okay. there was it was only like halfway. So through. Like, How the fuck do I know this? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have my history, young. So it's like a fruit basket situation, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. But, but I think because FMA was just such a popular they massive like, fuck hit, it, run it again. they were like, yeah. all right, again. we need to do this again. The fans are asking again, for it. Again. Round two, yeah. baby. <laughs> is that is that what happened with Hunter X Hunter? Right? It's like Hunter X Hunter. Apparently it's Hunter Hunter, and if you say X, you're just a fucking noob. I thought it was just all. Why is the X there? Do people call Kiss X six Kiss X sis Kiss sis? No, I'm gonna call it Hunter X Hunter. Fuck you. Uh, it had a remake though in 2018. That's kind of the same shit, right? Where you like already have initial first thing, then you do a remake because of how good it was and the IP. I mean, even One Piece, right? One Piece. One Piece is gonna get a remake by what was it? Studio Wit. I think maybe I'm wrong, but uh, who knows when that's gonna drop. I low key want a Naruto reboot too. Fuck it. And even Bleach right now, it's not a remake, but the fact that they decided to pick up the anime and adapt the Thousand Year of Blood War arc, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty insane. I like this new, new remix of OGs. Even though, you know, in Hollywood, stuff like, you know, reboots of existing IPs and milking the shit out of it turns out wrong. Most of the reboots in anime I've seen so far has been pretty decent. Yeah, what's okay. not here though is the end of Ava, where I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that. I'm pretty sure he made that because people wanted a fucking ending to Evangelion, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They were <laughs> like, they were like, I don't want five episodes of sketches. Give me a fucking real ending. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, All right, fine. Yeah. Let me give you the uh, most traumatic ending in the yeah, entire. Yeah, but I mean, I, I I think I am glad that we've stopped the anime original trend i uh, sorry the anime original ending trend yeah Big, me too i do not enjoy anime original endings well i guess that's only if i've read the manga because i have that expectation right because if i didn't know and the anime original ending was actually good then i wouldn't have complaints but if i had envisioned the way that it was going to end because i read the manga then i'm gonna get fucking upset but is there any animes we're watching recently that's done an anime original ending we were fucking mad about it? I don't remember. I don't know. Because I just don't read manga anymore. I can't read fucking manga anymore. There's only like one or two that I can think of that have a decent ending. Why, or what like Trigon as well. Oh, they had, uh, had an ending. Had a anime, anime right. original ending that was decent it enough. Was, it was alright. Did, 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 it, it was fine. fine. Does the manga go into like space? What do you mean? Don't they have like, isn't like aliens or some shit? Trigon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a spoiler for a... <laughs> Sorry, spoiler. <laughs> like a 25, 30-year-old Yeah, anime, I just remember... Yeah. We can't watch Trigon anymore. I cannot believe Connor did this. I'm like, watching it and being really confused why Alien showed up. Yeah, I mean, it was well, a sci-fi. Yeah. It was, a sci -fi. It was yeah, like yeah. a... Yeah. Uh, I mean, the new Trigon, very it much... space, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that it leaned into it. It leans way more into the sci-fi. Okay, okay. That, yeah. that leaned into it immediately. Again, I, I haven't watched Trigon in like 15 years. So yeah. It's been a long time. Prince of Tennis. I never watched that, but I know you love it. Prince, I fucking love it. Dude, Prince of Tennis is huge, bro. It's so huge. The it looks just like, even like the IRL anime, like the live action the theater Prince of Tennis shit. People love this so much. Prince I know you love Prince of Tennis. Yeah. It's it's fucking like if you I love shows like really JoJo, you would love it because it's just it's literally the I most mean, ridiculous fucking. If you can make show. tennis cool, that it's so cool. Huge props because. Uh, Hot take, or maybe not a hot take. When I watch sports animes, I think that it's even better when the sport itself is less of a sport, right? For example, like, there's a fucking manga, I think, called The Ultimate Rock, Paper, Scissors Tournament. And it's a sports anime, and it's so fucking hype. And it's like, what do you mean? It's rock, paper, scissors, exactly. That's why it's so stupid hype. The less serious, the more comical it is, and the more they apply the serious tones to shown in sports shit. Oh my god, it is so fucking fun. Keijo, that's probably the same shit too. Because Keijo just looks like a bunch of girls just throwing their asses at each other, right? But because it's so bizarre and ridiculous, and then you uh, layer on the shonen elements of sports series, you know, 
crying because you lost and you couldn't go to the Nationals. It's the Senpai Senior's last chance at going for Nationals. Dreams and hopes on the line. It just makes for such a great experience. Excuse me, tennis is tennis. Tennis is, is the cool. least cool sport of all it's, time. It's fuck. Tennis is the least cool sport of all time. No. No, bro. Tennis is fucking sick. What sport is fucking lame? You know what I think is fucking lame? Nah, I will not have golf slandered either. Golf is an amazing sport where it's a battle against your inner self. There's no one else that you're competing against in golf. It's you and your inner self and how ideally you can play to have the mental awareness and stability to overcome the stress. Golf is a fucking amazing pure skill sport. Um, but uh, there's a, whenever the Olympics shows up, I, I'm sorry for the slander of netball, but what in the fuck is this bullshit sport? Bro, what is this? Just play basketball. Why are you fucking playing this? Like, like every time the Olympics shows up, I see this sport and I'm just questioning, what is the purpose? Basically, it's basketball, but you can't dribble. And it's always passing. And that's it. And there's no backboard on the rim. But it's... It, have you ever seen a netball fucking... <laughs> netball. TikTok. Hold up. Like, this shit's a joke. Like, I'm sorry. This shit's a fucking joke. Look at this bullshit. Let's play this. Come on. Same with the year last year. Look. They passed. They passed. And once they shoot, oh, look, it's garbage. And they have to keep passing because they can't dribble, right? They got to keep passing. Fast chase. Yeah, yeah. Fast break. Yeah. And then position yourself. And then you can't even block them, bro. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Like, there's no contesting. There's no defense. Once you're in position, it's just, huh? it, it's the stupidest shit. And like, maybe I'm just ignorant. Maybe I just don't know. But I see netball every time Olympic shows up and I, it, it reminds me every time it's like, why are you not just playing basketball? What the fuck is the point of this? Fucking cool, man. It is man. not. Come on. Bro, it's... It, come, come on. Tennis is not a cool as no someone, As someone way. who played it for 10 years, it's boring as shit to watch. No, it's not. Oh my... Are you serious? I think it's boring. Tennis is not bored to watch. Tennis is very fast-paced. And it's extremely high burst scenarios. You know what's boring to watch? Baseball and soccer, and I'm sorry. I love playing baseball and soccer. They're fun sports to play, but watching that shit? That's watching paint fucking dry. It's 95% filler and 5% actual fucking action where it's high. Basketball is fun as fuck. Basketball, it's constant action. Football? Football is also pretty hype because it's very burst ready, right? It's like there is some lagging and filler while I set up, but there's also very hype, you know, burst of action that happens. But I still think basketball is the most fun to watch. And like excluding like MMA and stuff like that, because obviously combat sports is fucking just super hype. But like soccer and soccer and baseball, I love those sports, but it's so boring to watch. And like for the average person to watch, yeah. If you're like a professional, if you actually understand the game and the positioning, for sure, you can have more fun watching soccer and baseball, I guess. But to the average fan, I bet these sports are like one of the most boring shit to watch. To Motherfucker, no, no, I'd like, take any tennis game over like, like cricket, baseball, nah, all that I'd shit. I'd take cricket and baseball. No, cricket, no fucking what way. What the fuck? Cricket is way more hot. Yeah. Tennis is such a beautiful art form, man. I agree. <laughs> fucking hell, man. What is this tennis slander, man? Tennis is sick. Uh, no, see, you, you you were busy watching real tennis. I was watching Prince of Tennis. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting real tennis is so much I was better, getting man. sucked into the Tezuka zone. Basically, he watched Kuroko no Basket and then realized that real basketball is not Kuroko no Basket. And now it's like, this shit mid. <laughs> Bro, uh, you watch one fucking Federer game and you're like, oh, fucking Tezuka, who? I, I don't, Federer, I don't... Schmetter, or whatever, Oh, shut bro. the Oh, come on. Who cares? <laughs> I think Nadal was one of the coolest people ever because Roger Federer was like one of the most dominant people that was just like reigning over tennis. And then 
Nadal showed up and actually dethroned them once. Now I remember that. All right, let's go to the next <laughs> I era. Can't let's have a look this. what's in the next era. I'm pretty sure. Also Isn't Djokovic like the number? Like he's super, super good right now. I don't even know what the new tennis meta is. Said so that some of these from this point onwards. Why are we talking about fucking sports right now? This is 2000s golden era of anime. We're, we're, we're getting so off topic. We're not exactly when they were from, but when they were popular. Yeah. Um, All right, 2006 oh. to 2010, Ooh. I would say is getting... Okay. D. Grayman, isn't that a, a battle shonen? Maybe a seinen? Death Note, that's a real big shit, right? Welcome to the NHK, I think, is a story that depicts basically loser weebs <laughs> that, like, you know, uh, figures society out. Or on High School Host Club, we meme about it being just like a bunch of husbandos and yaoi, but I hear it's a goaded anime. One outs, fantastic psychological baseball anime, right? Black Lagoon, uh, I don't know about this other than hot girl shooting guns. Toradora, I still hear about this whenever we watch rom-com or slice of life. Nana, I know of it, I don't really know. Code Yes, we are currently watching Code Yes right now on Patreon. Clanad, another show people fucking beg for me to watch because you guys just want me to cry. Bakano, is this not the anime that is kind of similar to Durarara? I haven't seen either, but I know of the talking points based on just Reddit comments. Afro Samurai, again, another show where people love that shit, probably watch that in dub. Baki Monogatari, obviously, you know the Monogatari series. Darker Than Black, I genuinely have never heard of it. Claymore is an etchy battle show, right? And then here's Brotherhood. And then above that, uh, we obviously have Grin Lagon, which is one of the greatest, like, I think this is... This is Gynax or Trigger? Trigger? Gynax. Gynax? Trigger. Thank you, Emperor, with the tier 1 sub, man. But Gurren Lagon, I hear many, many wonderful things about it. Full Metal, you know about Brotherhood. Soul Eater... Wasn't this such a disappointment? Like, it was so good. It was so fucking good. And then... It just, like, fell on its face. And then here's the original Spice and Wolf, which is getting a remake right now. But, yeah, this is the uh, super, super nostalgia heavy factors, right? Close to, if not in, like, the most modern Yeah, this is, like, all of Soul Eater deviated and went to anime-only content? Ah. Well, that's what happens, man, when you fucking bait an audience with the expectations of being true to the manga and you go anime-only. That's a fucking disaster. Of my favorite show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And why would they do that? Why would they do anime-only? My theory could be they have no expectations to carry out future seasons worth of content for whatever reason, and then they decide to wrap up the story with an anime-ending on only. And then advertise, saying, if you want the true shit, you go read the manga as advertisement. I, that's one logic I, I could think about. Yeah. <laughs> Every single one of these. I mean, this I is the remember. era of... The concept, of course, didn't really exist, and they caught up to manga. <laughs> that's so funny. Back in 2006, the concept, of course... <laughs> yeah, it's basically, you only have 12 episode seasons... No second core or fucking just 500 plus long running shonens. They just didn't like shit. Second core, second season, they just didn't think of that shit, huh? They're just like, no, one single project and it's over. Well, that's the limitations of 2006, huh? Of Death Note and Code Geass, which is insane that they aired in the same year, along with Gurren Lagan as well. Yeah. Man. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That is crazy they jumped right on that remake. That is an insane <laughs> amount of like gap to it. It fucking paid oh, off though. It yeah. did, but is it? I mean, it's, it's smart, right? You want to, you know, strike the iron while it's hot. Isn't that nuts? It, I feel like if you did that nowadays with literally anything, you everyone would, like, make fun of them. Yeah. Like, re re relentlessly. Yeah. Hear me out. ReZero remake. <laughs> no, there's no point fucking doing that. What, what do I want to remake? What anime have you watched that was fucking botched? Not botched. How about this? Code Geass remake. I don't know if I'd want that. Code Geass is an amazing fucking legendary anime. They're doing a Legend of the Galactic Heroes remake. Classroom of the Elite remake? Hot take. I genuinely enjoy Classroom of the Elite anime. And while I even know and got pissed off understanding what got cut out, I thought it was still a really good, really good experience. Promised Neverland? Oh yeah. Remaking animes that did an anime only ending, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear Promise for Neverland, you know, did the remake, uh, anime ending. Tokyo Ghoul, yeah, basically any anime that people were let down due to anime only endings. Fuck it, remake that shit.
Yeah. But then they would watch and they'd be like, hold up, they're cooking. <laughs> uh, maybe. I, I don't even know, you know. I, I feel like this is like, a, what an insane thing. I just can't, yeah. I just thought about that now. I was like, why has no one ever questioned that they re-released the show so quickly after? I don't know. God, 2000? Because they fucking love Full Metal back. I bet people have begged for it. I bet that FMA ended, the or anime original ending, and people were pissed off. And they're like, oh my god, I cannot believe you did this. And there's probably like a petition saying, remake this shit. One to one direct translation. And they're like, all right, bet. Why the word brotherhood, though? Because, like, original is FMA, right? And, and then what? I, I, I don't know. The, the remake... Because they're brothers? Because, like, Hunter x Hunter, it's like HXH 2018, right? They, they slap a fucking number onto it. I don't know. 2007 was such a goated year oh, for anime. Oh, it's so goated. We got Gurren Lagann, Death Note, Code Geass, Tordor. and Barkano in the same year. I think Welcome to the NHK was also 2007, right? I think that was 2006. Was it? Yeah. Fuck. I th D. I think... Gray Man, Oran High School Host Club, Toradora. You know Clamant, what? I don't Clamant. miss Oran High School Host Club. I will just say that. I like Oran. It's fun. I did not like it's it. It's a Why? fun show. I don't know, man. I just, I just couldn't get it. Have you guys seen Oran High School? Should we watch it? I don't think you guys are the audience. I think people who watch Oran High School are a bunch of girls that love shoujo, just like hot ikemens, do fun shit. I bet it's not a bad anime, but are you guys the target audience? I, I just don't think so. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Also, yeah. also yeah. the fan base was just you. You are taint, You are tainted by the anime. The fan base is the worst. Yo, I'm starting to realize that there's a common pattern of behavior of the anime man going war with like a lot of different anime fan bases. Because he already had that thing with Data Live fan base too, right? And he was already shitting on Bochi the Rock too. I don't know. The anime man, it's, it's interesting to see how different anime fandoms start to like, start to like brigade against him, even though there, a lot of other people start talking shit about their enemies too. Anime con, like culture. Yes. Yes, war, yes you are. Man. Yes. Is You're that not a valid reason? <laughs> no. I've no, seen no. some horrendous shit. <laughs> Come out of this fan base. It also, Basically, Joey, just don't go on Tumblr, it, and uh, this would have been. I couldn't this, help it, bro. This... What happened? What? What? What about the? What about the fan base is so bad? Did, was there just so much fucking fan art of the Ikemens just just doing crazy shit, and Joey could not handle it? This and fucking uh, Hitalia, yeah, like scarred me for life from this kind of fan base. This also Hitalia? is. What is Hitalio? Hitalio anime. Hitalia anime. Just a bunch of dudes in the cover too. I'm not sure what why. Or has host, host club is probably the number one piece of effective propaganda in the world. Oh my god! In yes. terms of making host clubs look like these amazing like <laughs> things in, instead of the like sure. like kind of rancid like uh, <laughs> abusive like things that they actually are. Like yeah. host clubs are so much more great. <laughs> Big host clubs in Japan. Basically, it's propaganda because it's actually really a dark side of Japan, right? A lot of girls that go to host clubs feeling that they feel so lonely and they use all their fucking money and they go into debt, you know, to have pretty boys, you know, pour out expensive alcohol and shit like that. But or on host club, it's like, no, we don't do that. Gross in real life. Yeah. I mean, I've never been to one, so I wouldn't know. But I've been to two. I mean, yeah, you worked in <laughs> Film one. Film so. two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um... God, I still remember Barkano, man. What a fucking fuck! What an amazing show. Still, still a great show. What's it... bottom middle? I can't read that. Dark in the black. Dark, Dark in the black. black. Never seen it. Never heard Dark of it black. either. Love yeah. that show. Yeah. That was a great show. It's cool. I think I was one of the one of the coolest well. concepts. As so well. fucking cool. Yeah, I, it's weird because I don't. Mm. I like the the you to obviously some other shows have done it, but I really like that they lean so heavily into the like you had to have like some. Something to some some trigger. something to yeah. like some, some like, price to pay. thing yeah, yeah. some yeah. price to pay which I thought was such a cool idea and I feel like although yeah like I've, other shows have sounds like a serious and dark anime that I might want to check out done it yeah but uh, this one did it so well yeah that's swag you yeah. know it is swag. This, this swag. Is swag. Dark in the black was swag. swag November thirteen or eleven, he had to smoke. Yeah, he, he had to yeah, smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just love. I, I so, that burned into my mind. I, I don't even know what the main character's like drawback was. I don't think he had, had one. one. He didn't have yeah, one. because he had he got his powers. One in second. A one way. second.
the oven was on for my tea. And I just realized that we're reaching 30 minutes and I'm like, holy shit, my fucking apartment's gonna get burnt down. Wait, yeah. um, I remember the, the I, cat. Not an oven, it's a fucking stove. That talked. Sorry? The cat that talked. Yeah, the cat that yeah. talked. Yeah. And then the English one, he sounded like, no, you be yo, he's your mission, boy. <laughs> You should know. And he sounded like British. I don't know. It was weird. I just remember that guy who had to like stack the stones exactly in like a oh, square yeah. or something. Oh, there yeah. were so many, they just had so many cool concepts in this yeah, one. Yeah. Because well, like, yeah, if your power is so uh, godlike, but it's so annoying to yeah. do, it's mm. like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Such a good way to balance yeah. powers. And also like Yoko Kano killed it with the music. Oh, yeah. As um, she always does. Dude. As she always does. Protect the queen. Yeah. Do you remember Soul Eater? I do. I remember no. how, at least in, in the Western world, it was very hyped. Soul Eater? It was. Yeah. Uh, even to this day, I hear so much praise for Soul Eater, but a lot, but just as much as praise there are, a lot of regrets about the show too. Oh, in, no, in Japan. It was, was it Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. it was huge. It it was a show that Actually, nobody really talks about anymore, but everyone remembers fondly. Because it was kind of mid. Mid? You know, I, was, say... was, I would say it was a product of its time. I, yes. I would agree. Huh. I would say at the time it was amazing. It was, it was funny it because when, when Fire Force came out, which is done by the same yeah. author, yeah. Still I out. watched it and I was so disappointed in it that it made me go back and rewatch Soul Eater to confirm. Was Fire Force that bad? Holy shit. I. I do want to check out Fire Force one of these days because like it is like a sh battle shonen that's airing even right now. Firm to myself, if this was actually just mid, <laughs> I'm like, is this better in my head or yeah, like is it, it is. still so good? It and it was, it it's mid? definitely better in my head. Okay, okay. Like I, I feel I was at the right age and this was at, during the right period where a show like Soul Eater just worked. Yeah. But basically, the show is actually, well. You can't say a show is garbage. Oops, sorry. Because like, you can't say a show is garbage. If that's an interesting thing, like a product of its time, as in you were 12 and you grew up watching Naruto. And it was the most hype shit. But as you grew up later on, now into your 20s, you look back and you realize, hmm, I didn't actually enjoy it as much. Right? That would be what's called a product of its time, where you were the right age, it was the right trends during that media era, and, you know, the anime just made sense to the culture of that time. And then the timeless classic would be something like that surpasses that, where you can watch it as a kid, you can watch it when you're 40 and beyond, and you're still gonna think it's fucking amazing. But it, if, you made a, if you made an exact remake of it I today, think, I don't yeah, think it would work. It was a straight-to-the-point shonen with fun characters. Yeah. yeah. That, that for the time was great, Yeah, but... It definitely just has an age. It is very it much a product age. of its time. Yes. And Fire Force is a very much a product of the same time. <laughs> that I don't came know out. what fucking time Fire Force is a product of. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a product of the same time <laughs> that came time out. I wonder if Demon Slayer is also a product of its time right now. I don't know. I think that Genshin Impact is a product of its time. Where so many people during the pandemic were locked in and had nothing better to do. And then this one actual anime open world gotcha showed up and everyone was like, holy fuck. And it was like the perfect storm. Like the, like it was the perfect ideal scenario to just like clutch. But like, I bet if it came out now, it wouldn't be as well received. I don't know. It was 10 years later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was time to stop. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, but we also got Can we, now after we watch ReZero, I don't think 2016 and 2024 is actually that different, right? Eight years, nearly a decade. Nah, you'd have to give it like 20 or 30 years and then actually decide. Spice and Wolf as well. This yeah, is around Alex, the time <laughs> that I, uh, there's one show that I'm very, 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 very surprised that is not up here. Um, not going to call you out, Alex. Uh, but uh, how the fuck is Haruhi not here? Yeah, I was about oh, to yeah, say, yeah. Hadoui Suzumiya. Oh, people were referencing this in the one of the newest Roshidere endings. I think it was episode four or something saying, oh, look at the reference. And I'm like, what reference? You think I'm going to watch garbage like this? It's not garbage. It's just that when I'm growing up watching anime as a kid, I see a cover picture like this. I think trash. Why am I wasting my time watching this bullshit when I could be watching Naruto learn how to use the Rasengan? That's way more cool and epic. I don't care. But it's like, how do you, like, like, you know, it's like a young boy that has no understanding of Axel, what is good or not. He only likes to eat pepperoni pizza, right? That, that was me growing up. I only like pepperoni pizza. I don't want anything else. And that was me. 
my entire childhood and now i'm like discovering oh okay okay a lot of other genres exist i see my my palette of you know anime taste is now being developed how are he susan me up how are he literally shaped this era yeah yeah yeah, yeah. how are he all right i feel like how are he put anime on a, on the on a train track Really? Of which it cannot get off. <laughs> the the how he like craze yeah. during this period in Japan was like it was like Beatlemania. Yeah, but like, it was yeah, fucking yeah. crazy. Because I feel like anime after Haruhi it just follows Haruhi. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Why? What is it specifically about this show that what does it do? It just defines slice of life in a nutshell? Like this thing was like, you know what? This is the best slice of life anime. I don't even know which is slice of life. I'm just assuming in this based on the cover pick. And now every anime is like, yo, use that template, copy paste, just do what they did and customize. Is, is that what they're talking about? Yeah. Everything be it I, becomes, I mean, it yeah. slowly diverges to becoming Harry. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's like a weird way. Yeah, I yeah. mean, Harry wasn't exactly the first of like anything. It wasn't like the yeah. first light novel adaptation. Yeah. It wasn't the first high school anime. The best. But it was just. She was just such a force of nature that you can see the yeah. effect of like the kinds of shows that got adapted mm. before Harry he came out and the types of shows that got adapted after Harry he came yeah. out. You know, I, it even makes me wonder if something like Monogatari. Pineapple pizza is actually good. One of the first pizzas that I ever ate was pineapple pizza. So I saw. I might be biased in saying that, but I genuinely think that pineapple does belong on pizza. It's really good, especially if you add some fucking like chili flakes onto pineapple and ham pizza, bro. That shit fucking bangs. Would have you know gotten an adaptation if not for Harry. Pesto sauce is also fucking amazing. Recently, I discovered a love for pesto. Pesto pizza. Oh, dude, I didn't realize how good that sauce was. Setting, setting yeah. the precedence of like, okay, let's get a quirky light. I think a lot of the people that hate pineapple pizza, I don't even know why the fuck we're talking about this right now. It's simply because they did not taste pineapple pizza before anything else. And because of such a contrast from regular just like pepperoni pizza and shit, they were like, it was too much of a shock. And it's like, this is not the way pizza is supposed to be. But I got introduced to pizza eating Hawaiian. For whatever reason, my parents introduced me just with Hawaiian. So I might have a very biased take here novel adaptation mm -hmm. let's see how well this does well i feel uh, a lot of these a lot of these shows and i'm sure a lot of the shows on the next slide yeah wouldn't be around if it wasn't for harry i, I have a question yeah. about banana does not belong on pizza bro you no you, when you go to heaven in front of the gates and dog rule is protecting the gates dog is gonna say hmm you actually think banana belongs on pizza and then he's gonna say you're kicked out about uh afro samurai yeah. Uh, is it a good show? I've never watched it. it I just, a, it I just, I just know that the dub is Samuel Jackson. Yeah, it's it, it's, it, it, it's it's a good show. It's I enjoyed it. It's it's it it's does nothing, everything you need to. It's nothing to write home about, but no, it's yeah. it's a fun show. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Toradora. I tried rewatching Toradora the other day. Actually, it's tough. <laughs> it was tough. Yeah. Holy. As in, it's a product of its time, or Toradora is just a sad anime. Is Toradora one of those fucking shows like? Not made in the abyss. It's a uh, uh, what's that? March never calls coming. No, what's that fucking show with the terminally ill girl that plays the fucking piano? My something in April, right? My something in April. Uh, Clanad. I'm just gonna say Clanad. You're you're like yeah, not my. It's your like. Uh, Toradora is not sad. So does that mean it's uh it's it this is just like a product of its time? Holy shit. I forgot it's long. Twenty-six episodes? Oh. It's long. Like I know Cinder Days have like slowly been phased out, but I forgot Cinder Days suck. How hard they went with like Tiger's character. Oh yeah. To like She's such a little shit. I mean I Yeah, sounds like it, listen, I think that Cinder Days are just the most overrated tropes or anime archetypes of girls, bro. They suck. You only think that they're hot because you have some sort of power dynamic humiliation kink. And if you were to actually meet one in real life, I guarantee you, you would not last more than a week with one because you realize that this is a psychopath. Bullshit. I mean, I had trouble with it when it was airing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I would react to it today. Uh, yeah, I'm like... If, if the tsundere lover is saying this shit... <laughs> Because of how much volatile reactions there would be from me watching this shit and just yelling at this girl named Tora, I think that Tora Dora reactions would be fun. Again, reaction content is totally different from watching something by yourself. Watching shit that makes me mad is the reason why people love 
too many losing heroin reactions as well as the dream boy is a realist. I watch something that pisses me off, I yell, and you guys laugh. It's, that's, that's just the fucking winning formula. And if this bitch, Taiga, sucks, bro, we can watch this shit and just roast her and have a fun time. <laughs> yeah. That's saying a lot. <laughs> it's like me and Sydney were watching this, and we were, I remember like watching the first few episodes, uh, re-watching the first few episodes. I was like, damn, she's kind of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She was. She's yeah. a total asshole. She kind of just is really, like, really violent and not in an anime I'm way. Like, but Ryuji, just, what are you doing, man? I'm like, holy shit, she goes in hard. Yeah. How how we it's how like we getting away with this? punches to the face. It's yeah, like yeah. actual like violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they didn't really tell me, but the answer about where the 2000s the golden era for anime. But Gary did say it right that this is not the uh, what's it called. Also, here's the here's the video for the Eclipse Highlight Channel. Go check him out. But um, I think that on average, because the culture has shifted, the industry has shifted into more. Just like, you know, we're pretty much just further into capitalism game. There's a bigger race to the bottom, meaning min-maxing all the resources to pump out garbage. That's why we're going to have a lot more seasonal anime. And if you were to compare, on average, how good or polished the show is, the early 2000s probably does come out on top compared to the garbage slop that we watch on a regular basis monthly. But this doesn't mean that we don't also have those amazing gems, right? Hidden in the rough. For example, Frieden is, a, is one that I can count it right now. I'll, I'll say it. Fuck it. Eminence and Shadow. Right? I hear Apothecary Diaries is amazing. You know, Roche Day is doing amazing right now. But obviously, we're going to have a lot more garbage. But it doesn't mean that, you know, the anime uh, era is just getting worse as time goes by. But I, it'll be very interesting to see what's going to happen throughout the next 10 years. With the advent of Hollywood injecting their money into the anime industry and trying to open the gates to the normies and see exactly what kind of you know products are going to be delivered throughout the next decade of anime. But hey, that's it for me.